hello everyone welcome back to tech genie in this video i will be explaining that how to fix virus and threat protection not found in windows 11 or windows 10 so if your real-time protection and the virus and threat protection is missing you are not getting that option so let me show you if i make a right click on the windows icon go to settings privacy and security windows security so you can see i don't find the virus and threat protection even if i click on open windows security so the virus and threat protection option is missing so if you have the same problem or any similar issues then what you will have to do close everything click on your windows search type cmd right click on the command prompt then click run as admin click on yes the black window will be up now here you have to run three different command and all these command you will get in the description so copy the first one make a right click it will be automatically pasted and it will take few seconds and once it's been completed you just have to type exit again click on your windows search type cmd right click on the command prompt click run as admin click on yes then paste another command make a right click paste it now this command will be taking some time so what we can do we can minimize it and then click on your windows search type windows security in this suggestion you will be getting windows security make a right click on it click on app settings and now here you will find background app permissions so make sure that this let this app run in the background has been selected to either power optimized or always it should not be selected to never okay so once you are done scroll down and in the reset you will find two different option of a repair and reset first you need to click on repair and once it's been done click on reset reset again and now you can close it now next you have to click on your windows search type gp edit click on edit group policy the group policy editor will be up now while opening the group policy editor if you get any kind of error message then probably you are using windows 11 or 10 home edition so for that i have already created a video that how you can enable the group policy editor watch that video and then come back to this page so once the group policy editor is up from the left hand menu option under computer configuration click on admin template then on the right hand side click on windows component now here scroll down and you will find windows security double click on it then you will find virus and threat protection double click on it and here you find the option of hide the virus and threat protection area double click on it another box will be popping up now make sure that this has not been selected to enabled or disabled and if it's been selected then you have to select to not configured then click on apply click on ok and now bring up the black window and we can see the scan has been completed so the next command will be sfc space forward slash scan now again hit the enter key and this will be now looking for any kind of integrity violation so we can minimize it and now we are remaining with the final step so click on your windows search type reg ed it hit the enter key click on yes the registry editor will be up now here from the left hand menu option double click on hk local machine then you have to look for system double click on it then look for current control set double click on it again then you have to look for services double click on it now in the services you have to look for the folder by the name wsc svc so keep scrolling down to the w section and somewhere you will find a folder by the name wsc here it is wsc svc so once you click on it on the right hand side you will find a value by the name start make a double click on it again and change the value data from 2 to 0 then click on ok and now you can close it now after applying all these solution kindly wait until this command is completed and once it's been done finally make a restart and this time when the computer gets restarted you will find that the virus and threat protection security will be back okay so the computer has been restarted now and if i again bring up the windows security so you can see the virus and threat protection is now being enabled and even i can find the real time protection 
But now if due to any reason if all these method doesn't work for you then finally what you will have to do uh, you will be getting a link in the description you will have to come to this website of Microsoft Defender and once you come up here you have to scroll down now on the very top you will find Microsoft Defender entire virus for Windows 11 so depending you are using 32 bit or 64 bit you have to download it install it and once installed you will have to restart the computer again and then your real-time protection and the Windows security will be working absolutely perfect now this is only for the people for whom the previous step doesn't work all right so that's all guys for today hopefully you will find this video helpful and if yes do not forget to like and subscribe and i see you in the next video bye bye